Nothing Bro 6505 wants me to create a tutorial about particles filling around a sphere using a four sphere. Well, I got you, bro. In order to do that, we are going to add a sphere and then right click shade smooth. Now let's add another object that we'll use as an emitter for the particles and keep it at the distance that you want the ring to form at. And we are going to add 10,000 particles to start with. And my final render was 50,000 particles. So you can increase that later. Now let's add a force field. And to make a ring, we are going to add a curve guide force field. Hit tab, go to the edit mode and delete all the vertices. Do a shift A and add a curve circle. Now scale it to the point where it is at the center of your emitter object and hit play. You already see the particles circling the curve, but we can make it better. A quick side note, just make sure that your curve guides circle. So the circle that you see here in your curve guide, it aligns with where your emitter is. If that's not the case, you will get this kind of wonky effect and if you don't want that just make sure it's aligned with your emitter object first of all let's make sure that it looks like a ring so let's go and change a few things in our particle settings so when we're using a curve guide your particle lifeline would define how fast your particles are moving around the curve so i went with a value of 200 as the lifetime and you need to start the simulation at minus 300 frames for this or you can check and see wherever your particles are forming a complete circle and choose that as your starting frame. Give it a little bit of lifetime randomness to give random speeds to your particle. Now let's go back to the curve guide and change the king to braid and access to x and I give it a frequency of 10 shape of minus 0 0.999 and amplitude of 0 0.2. Experiment with these settings to get different effects. Now all that is left is to get an object to instance and bake your simulation. I kept the scale at 0 0.09 and scale randomness to 1 and there we go. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And if you want to learn how to create cool disintegration effect like this using the particle system, click on this video to know more.